It's very peaceful here during sunrise. Very beautiful skies. It's a beautiful place, Cardiff Bay. Wonderful setting for the Welsh Assembly. And we've begun our all day vigil here on the Senna Steps to remember the 418 people unlawfully killed due to an intolerance of their gender identity. That's the candle of hope that we've lit. We'll have that burning all day until midnight today. It's just past sunrise on Transgender Day of Remembrance and I've just lit the candle and we're going to keep this going all day until midnight. We're expecting people to come and talk about the people that have been unlawfully killed, murdered because of intolerance of their gender identity. At three o'clock we'll have a 35 metre flag displayed all on the steps here at the Senate in Cardiff Bay and at five o'clock We've got speakers including Leanne Wood AM and Jeremy Miles AM. And we also have Savannah Taj of the Welsh TUC speaking as well. So what's, what's your name and what does Transgender Day of Remembrance mean for you? My name is Katie. Newport, work in Cardiff. Um, Trans Day of Remembrance to me means a way that we can remember those people who have been victims of transphobic violence throughout the world and it's important as ever now that we're seeing a wave of transphobia once more actually not only in the UK but in places like Brazil um, where they've just elected a, a new president who is very anti-trans rights, actually very anti-LGBT rights as well as a lot of other um, things that are anti-progressive um, and also with Donald Trump in America um, who has been trying to roll back transgender rights and also here in the UK there's a lot of um, misinformation and generally scaremongering about trans people which can lead to um, attacks on trans people in the real world and it can cause a wave of fear and resentment and I think sometimes that's where a lot of violence against trans people comes from misunderstanding fear that the people don't realise that we just want to get on with our lives and um, live peacefully and just really be people's brothers, sisters, um, children, daughters, sons and friends and colleagues and we just want to on with our lives and live in peace. I think, you know, we need to remember um, the hundreds of people who are killed simply for being trans every year. Um, we need to, we, always, we should never forget them. We should always remember them and this time next year, sadly, we will be commemorating um, people who, um, another several hundred people who have been murdered simply for being trans, and that's really sad. But we, the least we can do is not forget them, and to um, educate people, and you know, sh show and be visible, and um, explain to people how. Um, we don't, you know, we don't pose them any risk or any harm, we're just ordinary people. We just want to contribute to society and get on with 
Christmas. Oh, well, it looks like everybody else. Thank you. So what's your name and what does Transgender Day of Equality mean for you? My name is Jessie um, and for me it means remembering people who've tragically lost their lives at the hands of others, at the hands of hatred. I think it's really important as a member of the LGBT community myself to stand up next to our trans siblings and, and you know, take stock of how under persecution this community is at the moment. Thank you. So what's your name and what does Transgender Day of Remembrance mean for you? My name's Lisa Power and I'm a dyke who's been around for donkey's years and Transgender Day of Remembrance is important because we remember on World AIDS Day everybody who was killed by AIDS. We remember on uh, Idaho people who've been damaged and killed by, by homophobia. Uh, I think it's really important that there's also a day in which we remember people who have been killed or damaged by transphobia. Uh, and the proof of it being useful today is that um, I haven't been here all day, I've only been here a short while, but I've already seen people coming up and asking what this is about uh, and learning a little bit more about what it is to be transgender and to have um, the, kind of, uh, uh, the kind of transphobia uh, that people experience and why it's important. And just to have those interactions both with the general public and here on the steps of the Senate with politicians and with people who are working with politicians. That's an incredibly important piece of consciousness raising um, and awareness work. Uh, so for me, it's about a day when we can focus on the issue that we need to be working on all year round. Thank you. Hi there, so, so what's your name? Uh, my name is Councillor Susan Ellsmore, Cabinet Member for Social Care, Health and Wellbeing. Cardiff Council and I'm Joint Equality Spokesperson for the Welsh Local Government Association. And what does Transgender Day of Remembrance mean to you and what have you heard about it? Well I've only, Jenny you've just told me about it today so I hadn't realised I'm here for the, for the White Ribbon event uh, but I think it's really important from an equalities perspective um, that we remember all of those who, um, who are subject both to discrimination, um, violence and hate crime. Thank you very much. Not at all. So what's your name? Um, I'm Kate Hutchinson, I'm the Trans Community Outreach Officer for Pride Camry. And what does Transgender Day of Remembrance mean for you? Uh, for me, it's a day that, you know, in a perfect world we wouldn't have to have a day like this. It's a day where we remember those, you know, lost to violence or, you know, or to suicide um, through violence, discrimination, um, ignorance. Um, and that's why it's so important in these times that we've got to continue to educate. Thank you. So what's your name? Yeah, my name is Mr. James. And what does Transgender Day of Remembrance mean for you? It's a very important day for us to remember those who have been victims of transphobia. As we know, it's at record levels now in the UK, and I'm here as part of the central government team to try and hope to get some uh, resolution to these problems and we can help people as we can. Thank you very much. My pleasure. That's visibility for you. <laughs> Fantastic. So this is the 30 metre long Pride Cymru trans pride flag being displayed in front of the Welsh Assembly on Transgender Day of Remembrance. What a spectacular sight. So what's your name? Um, my name's Kath Harrison um, and I work for Pride Cymru. And Trans Day of Remembrance means to me, um, it highlights the importance of being a trans ally and the effect that that can have standing up in your community and saying you support other people. Thank you. Hi, and who are you and what does Transgender Day of Remembrance mean to you? Hi, I'm Lou Thomas. I'm um, Chair of Pride Cymru. Um, 
Veterans Day of Remembrance to me is a day where we can stop and reflect about how far we've come globally and how much more we have to do. I think the figure is 300 and, 360 uh, trans people have been identified who have been murdered in the last year because of their <coughs> status. Um, but that's the recorded figures. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more that's unrecorded. Um, and that can't be right. We can't be globally as, as, as people seen to think that it's all right and it's acceptable to hate other people for being who they are. So today it's really important that we come together uh, and just remember who we've lost, um, remember what we're fighting for, uh, and come together in solidarity with our trans brothers and sisters um, to eradicate hate from, from, the, from the world, really. So what's your name? I'm Eleanor Burns. And what does Transgender Day of Remembrance mean for you? Well, for me, when I um, started living my life as out and out transgender, it uh, was the most positive change in my life, socially, creatively. And then one discovers there are all these people who resent that for the most irrational and stupid and hateful reasons. And Transgender Day of Remembrance to me is the day of remembering that there are consequences of that, terrible, tragic consequences of that. And I hope those people who are casually flinging this sort of hate around will bear that in mind. Thank you. So what's your name? My name is Sophie Quinney and I'm a GP and I'm based in Cardiff. And what does Transgender Day of Remembrance mean to you? I think what it means to me and the reason why I wanted to come here and pay my support is that all of us need to think about how we directly or indirectly impact on the lives of the people that we share our communities with. And as a medical professional, I think we have a duty of care towards uh, those of our patients who identify um, with this community and recognise that the impact or the failings of the health service as it currently stands might well have had on the lives of the people that we're remembering today and take responsibility for making improvements to ensure that suicides and self-harm and levels of mental health are improved and that we don't, we are not responsible for deaths unnecessarily. Thank you. Welcome. I'm really proud to stand with you tonight to remember all those who we have lost to hatred and to recommit ourselves to fighting for a world that is free from transphobia. Trans Day of Remembrance is more important today than ever. All around us we can see the growth of intolerance, hatred and the far right. As the President of the United States attempts to remove all legal protections for trans people, a fascist committed to the persecution of LGBT people takes power in Brazil and the UK media whip up scaremongering about gender recognition reform, we must not become complacent. We are here to remember those who have been lost and the full, free and fulfilling lives they never got to live. But we're also here to demand a better future for the young people bullied at school for not confronting those gender stereotypes, the trans people waiting years to access adequate health care, and everyone living in fear of hatred and violence. We must remember the dead and fight for the living. Plaid Cymru's vision is of a world where everyone is respected free from abuse and free from discrimination. I want everyone who shares that vision to be part of building a better and more equal nation, all of us together. So I encourage everyone who supports trans equality to use this opportunity to speak up and make their support clear. I'm proud to stand in solidarity with you all tonight and I always will be. 
dros Gymru a dros fyd, lle mae pawb yn rhydd i fyw heb casineb. For a world and a world where everyone is able to live free of hatred. Dear Mouth.